Hello everyone, Lorenzo here from RVT. So it's been about a couple of weeks ago since I put that banana in there and I took out the feeder yesterday, it was empty. The the uh, the uh, sugar syrup, took it out yesterday, it was completely empty and uh, we're gonna, today we're going to do a quick video uh, of an update from last video. If you haven't checked that video up, go ahead and gonna be up there on the top right and uh, see how they deal with the banana that I put in there now I haven't even grasshoppers there are a bunch of them around here but I haven't even uh, opened it up in two weeks so I don't know what to expect there and uh, we'll we'll see what happens here um, I just keep this in there and, you know just sitting in there just to put it somewhere and uh, here's a feeder I did a video on this too if you haven't checked that one out it's gonna be up there on the top right um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, my stuff on and then uh, open this up and then show you what's going on in there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up I've been meaning, meaning to bring my uh, tripod, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> See, they're still trying to go in there, trying to look for some. Uh, uh, some sugar water mixture. I see the banana down there. It looks like uh, the banana is mostly gone. It's just the peel that's there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the peel out. Give him some smoke. Put some smoke in there. It looks completely empty again. So, see some uh, high beetles there. I'm gonna go ahead and kill those. I cannot do it with one hand holding the frame and I'm gonna go ahead and kill those so I'll be right back. Alright, so I killed some beetles there. I just uh, used this right here because they go into those holes. So I just went in there, grabbed them and squeezed them and threw them on the ground. And they died. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep pulling back the frames and then uh, show you the banana down there. And I pulled the next frame out and I found two beetles there. Uh, one of them fell back into the hive. So, And here are two. I didn't throw them on the ground this time. I just put them right here so you can see them. And now I'm about to go ahead and uh, pull the banana out. Alright, I could remove it. Um, I still need to move another frame, so I'll pull out the next frame. This frame looks better. It looks like they have cap capped the honey there on this entire frame on this side. Um, the queen usually hangs out on on this frame, so that's not too far from them. So I'm gonna pull this frame out and then uh, I'll scoot it over and then try to get the banana out. Right, I didn't see a, I, I, I see a lot of larvae and then there's like a bee there uh, dancing around 
I don't know if you can see it. It's got a uh, pollen on them, on the legs. Where's it at? It's kind of hard. To, it, it might show blurry because you know it's set to my camera. It's set to. Uh, it looks blurry to me, so I don't know. But anyways, there's a bee over here dancing around. And they, they have uh, pollen on their um, on her legs. All right, this is the next frame over, and I see a lot of uh, cat brood in there. I haven't seen the queen yet, but I know she's there since there's a lot of uh, brood in there. This look, it looks like it's about to explode this hive, so that's good. That's some good, good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and check and see if I can find the queen. I mean, I don't have to find the queen. I can see a bunch of eggs. But, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put everything back together. All right, so I put it back together. And uh, I did had uh, upset the bees. <laughs> so then I realized I didn't put enough smoke in my uh, uh, enough fuel for my smoker actually I did put it in but it went out since I didn't touch it for a little bit so I had to run all the way back there where I left my uh, my lighter came back and uh, you know put a lighter on there I mean light it up <laughs> sorry I'm out of breath and uh, but yeah that's uh, that's it Closed it up, got some high beetles out. They, they seem to be doing pretty good. Um, I didn't see the queen in there, so I don't know. I didn't I should have just left it alone after taking out the banana. But uh, talking about the banana, here's, here's what's left on it. Usually they eat the whole thing, but uh, I think they just like ate the uh, wet, whatever squirted out. And the rest of it just rotted out. But I, I, I think I'm going to stay away from bananas. <laughs> For now. Until maybe the colony grows out, grows up and um, gets bigger, I mean. But uh, for now, you know, I'm just going to leave the banana out of the, out of the hive. And, uh, and I am going to bring another... Um, couple quarts of uh, sugar water mixture and uh, put it in there and see how they do see if they keep taking it all the uh, looks like they're building more comb on this last frame on this part of the frame so that's some good stuff there going on um, I was just in a hurry because I noticed that the bees were getting upset. They were coming out through every crevice. And I wasn't trying to squish them or anything like that. So I just, that's why I had to run all the way down to get the lighter and put some smoke between the cracks so I can uh, shut them close. But um, hopefully there aren't that many fatalities in there. I know there was one here. I didn't see until that until it was already closed out and uh, but anyways uh, we're gonna so the banana thing you know sure you know then they probably eat it but uh, you know the colony is too small and they had the sugar water mixture in there and uh, it looks like pollen is coming in pretty good I saw a lot of pollen in the in the cell so that's some good stuff but anyways uh, that's gonna be for this video it was a short video just to show you the uh, the banana thing and how the uh, feeder was going I took it out yesterday I should have taken it out yet today so I can show you guys but um, oh, I still have a upset bee right here next to me anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here before I get stung and uh, and talk to y'all later <laughs>